Hey guys, Kate here from the Kyrie Tree. For those of you who might be stuck at home, uh, wanting to move a little bit, then I put this workout together for you to get your glutes fired off so you can keep moving, keep strong, and keep calm. Okay guys, so we're gonna start on our backs and we're gonna start with a nice warm up to get our glutes fired off and we're gonna be doing some nice bridges up in the air, just like this. Some of you might be familiar with this exercise. Um, for those of you not, basically I'm just pushing my hips straight up into the air. I'm also holding my belly button into my spine. And the important thing with Pilates is all about breathing and having fun. So take a big breath in and as you drive your hips to the air, and you're squeezing your bum together. So if you want to advance this exercise, you can hold your hips into the air and just do little pulses up, up, up. And basically what I'm doing is just squeezing my glutes together to make them nice and strong. Pretend you have like a $50 bill between your butt cheeks and I'm trying to pull it out, but you're not letting. That's how strong you are squeezing. All right, with another three, two, one, Good, just take a 10 second break. I designed this workout to be 45 seconds of work and the 10 to 15 second rest in between. Let's get ready for exercise number two. You're gonna hold your bridge up in the air and what you're gonna do is some butterfly wings. So your knees are gonna be coming in and out. Start to activate those glutes, also getting some legs involved. A whole lower better body workout. And if you wanna advance this exercise if it's feeling quite easy, you can come up onto your toes, activate those hamstrings as well. Or if you have like a TheraBand or anything at home, then you can tie that around your legs as well. Just add a little bit extra resistance, all right? Perfect, so then another 15 seconds to go. And remember breathing. Breathing out on the squeeze, sucking that belly button into the spine. We're all gonna get our bikini body ready for next summer, we've got a few months to go, so that'll be all good to go. All right, so we've got another three seconds. We're going for two, one, roll back down. Hug those knees into the chest, let that lower back go. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna join me on my side and we're gonna to start to get one side of the glutes and then we'll go to the other. So we're gonna start with what's known as the climax, okay? So both legs together, we're just gonna be lifting that knee up. I have my feet together and maybe what you cannot see is I have a little gap underneath here, okay? So pretend there's like a little fire burning underneath your hips, underneath your waist, I should say and you're lifting up to activate that core. And you're basically just lifting up, squeezing and relaxing. That's nice and easy. You're welcome to advance your clams. You're just gonna have your feet in the air. And you're still gonna be flapping around, lifting down and squeeze. That's it, give that muscle a squeeze. Beautiful, we've got another five more seconds before we take our break. Let's go for another three, two, one, relax that if you need to. Give that glute a bit of a pat. We're not done with this side yet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna be straightening our legs. Now you can either stay down here on the ground, it makes it a bit easier. You're welcome to raise up onto the shoulder and you're gonna be pushing up to engage that core. And we're gonna be doing a couple of leg sweeps. Okay, just going across the body, forward and back. Now some people love to have these legs with your toes pointed. Some people like to have the feet or the toes legs back to you. I don't mind, just get that leg moving. Your leg should be lifted a couple of inches away from your bottom leg. And what you should feel is all along that leg is you activate it, okay? If you want to advance this exercise, we're gonna add in a couple of bunny hops. You're gonna sweep, hop, hop back. Sweep, hop, hop back. And forward, and forward. If you're down here, you can make the same exercise. Good. We're going to take a break in three, two, one. Beautiful. Get that glute of pat if you need to. Taking our 10 second break and we're resetting. We're not done with this side. One more exercise to go. And what we're going to do is we're going to lift our leg nice and straight. And we're going to be lifting up and down. And lifting up and down. Now you might have noticed I've bent my lower leg here. That's totally fine. You can also have it straight. Just engages the core a little bit more. You can also come up here. Good, all right. And now we're gonna add a few pulses. So if you want to advance, just lift that leg up. Hopefully you're starting to feel that glute activate. I know I am. Good, but another 20 seconds to go. So what we're doing is we're gonna do a bunch of inspired workouts at home. They're gonna be no longer than 10 minutes and they're gonna be targeted to specific 
um, areas of the body. So if you like these type of videos, you're welcome to comment below or if you have some inspiration or ideas that you want us to do, then we are all open to suggestions. We're here to support you, okay? Let's go for another three, not already. Pulsing, two and one, beautiful. Give that glute a little bit of a pat. Jump over onto the other side there for me. Of course, we've got another side to go. Now we're all experts. Of course, we're gonna be starting with our clamps. So remember, you're either gonna be down here, or you're gonna be raised up onto the shoulder, or if you want to do some advanced versions, you're gonna be coming up through here, and you're gonna be squeezing that glute. Make sure that arm and the body is active. So, there's a lot of people wanting to do workouts at home at the moment, which is great. Um, the thing about exercise and workout is, first of all, there's just a lot of stress going on in general at the moment. It's pretty pumped up. So what we want to do, do some pulses up if you want to advance that climb a little bit. What we want to do is we want to keep the body moving because what we know is when we do movement, it's actually going to start to burn off our cortisol levels. So cortisol levels are our stress hormones that get released. And what we know, let's just take a bit of a break before we're in the next exercise. What we know about cortisol is when we're moving, we can start to burn that off. And then of course, we have all the hormones like oxytocin, serotonin, start to release and we all feel much, much better. All right guys, join me with a couple of side sweeps. I'm just gonna keep talking to keep everyone entertained so they get a little bit distracted from the burn. Hopefully you're starting to feel it in this top leg because that lower leg is going to be a little bit more fatigued now because we've just worked it out, but that's okay. So remember, sweeping across. And if you want, bunny hop back, forward, bunny hop back. When we do the bunny hops, we're actually targeting a little bit more of that side glute, which is our balancing muscle, which is very important. Maybe we'll put a balancing video together. So a lot of people often come into the clinic and tell me balancing is an issue. So we're more than happy to do that. Let's go for another three, another two, and another one. Beautiful. Let's give that one a bit of a pop. Again, staying up here, lift that chest up, or if you want, you can join me here. I'm just gonna alternate between the two just to show you guys what it looks like. And of course, both bottom leg bends, or you can straighten them, we're just gonna be lifting to the ceiling, up and down, good. Engage that lower core. So, lots of things that you can do for your stress level. Besides exercising, that's obviously one. Another one a lot of people tend to read about at the moment is meditation. Mindfulness, so breathing. Um, I know people think, of course, I'm going to be breathing, but there's actually a right way to breathe and a not so right way to breathe, okay? So just pulsing that leg up and down just to feel that burn there. So the whole goal of the breath is to make it nice and deep into the diaphragm. Often what we see in society is a lot of chest breathing. Breath isn't going very well. You tend to obviously not feel very good. Keep that glute tuck. I'm gonna roll onto my belly now. We're gonna finish off with our last couple of exercises. I hope you're still um, following me and enjoying the education about breathing. Beautiful. So this first one, we're gonna do one leg at a time. Good. You'll notice that my knee is lifted off the mat as we reverse it, activating some hamstrings. You pop your head down. If you like to reverse it, you're gonna go in and out, doing a couple of hamstring curls here. Okay, you can either be down here, Typical Pilates is up here, pushing through the elbows and activating through that upper back as well. I'm gonna come down here because I'm quite enjoying talking at the moment. Um, yes, yeah, so deep diaphragm breathing is absolutely fantastic for lowering stress because what it does is it actually pulls your body out of that fight flight response. I won't go into detail at the moment, but what I'd say is just try it at home. Do some nice long deep breaths through the belly. Firstly, you're just going to give me three, two, one, and relax. Keep those glutes tight. We've got one more exercise. It is my absolute favorite exercise. We do long deep breaths into the belly, pulling up for two counts. Pushing you out for four. Just feel yourself instantly start to calm down. It's a great breathing exercise, and it's what I'm doing when I'm doing Pilates at the moment. Last exercise, both knees up. And what we're gonna do is we're going to be starting in the advanced version, we're gonna be lifting up and down. Lifting both knees up, this is my favorite. Squeezing my glutes. Now if you're feeling it in your lower back, just drop your head. Or you can take it down and up by maybe just doing one leg at a time. 
or just go back to your one leg kick, okay? Otherwise, join me. We're gonna go up. Good. Got 10 more seconds to go. We're gonna all hold up. We're gonna pulse, 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 pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And relax. Beautiful. All right, guys. Let's roll on to the back. Let's give those glutes a lovely stretch. I hope you can enjoy that glute workout. I know that I did. And as I mentioned, we're going to be putting a bunch of these videos together, targeting different body groups. If you have any suggestions or comments, please write them below. And we'll go from there. Thanks so much for joining me today. Kate from The Courage Tree. Enjoy your day.